Batman, probably the most popular hero from the DC roster. Since his first appearance in 1939, he has had numerous different costumes and suits, and for today's video I am going to go through the technical details of the Batsuit. In order to avoid confusion, I will state that I'm not going to dedicate myself to one specific canon of Batman, since his suit varies in each one, so I will try to merge as many canons as possible to portray a as true as possible representation of the Batsuit. Of course, Batman has tons of different suits for different scenarios. This video will mostly focus on his standard Batsuit. I'm going to jump directly to the modern rendition of the character, since the older ones only use basic fabrics for the suit. So with all that out of the way, let's go. The basic suit is composed of Kevlar thread and carbon nanotube fibers. Alternatively, say in the Nolanverse, it's Kevlar biweave plates on a titanium dipped fiber. That's a lot of science babble, so all in all, it's a very tear resistant, bullet resistant and flame retardant material, all while maintaining its flexibility. Batman is often depicted unarmored as I like to call it. That's when the suit doesn't possess clear armor plates on the outside and all the cool stuff is hidden under the fabric. But I will talk about the armor nonetheless. Featured in Batman Arkham Knight, the Batsuit version 8.03 is an advanced suit designed with flexible plates overlaying an MR fluid armor layer. This triweave bodysuit consists of an outer and inner layer made from a titanium dipped triweave fiber mesh. Sandwiched between uh, is the MR fluid based liquid armor system. The MR fluid hardens in response to impacts, thus increasing its superior shock absorption. It is then transferred uh, into a greater force delivery behind counterattacks. Early incarnations of Batman's cape had it made out of a simple fabric, then it turned into leather though aesthetically pleasing, not giving Batman so much of a tactical advantage. The modern Batman cape is made out of a memory cloth that hardens when electrical current runs through it, forming a bat-shaped glider for Batman to use. Besides being reinforced to cause more damage and to prevent Batman from harming himself during combat, the gloves also houses hidden compartments for more gadgets, such as lockpicks or a small knife. Should his utility belt be removed, he can still get out of a hairy situation. He is a master escape artist after all. The glove's most notable features are the tri-wings located on the gauntlets, which let Batman block and disarm blade-wielding enemies. The fingertips of the gloves can emit an electrical current that interacts with the memory cloth in the cape. The boots are reinforced in the same manner as the gloves, giving it a steel-tipped toe, so that Batman can dish out more damage yet protect himself at the same time. They also contain a few gadgets themselves, most notably an ultrasonic device housed in the boot heel that could summon bats to its location when turned on. The utility belt, perhaps Batman's most famous gadget, its uncanny ability to contain something suited for every need. Similar to the cowl, it features defensive capabilities to prevent others from using it against Batman, something that has been attempted on numerous occasions since they believed Batman to be nothing without his utility belt. The belt includes an array of different batarangs, a grapple gun, gas grenades, remote control for the Batmobile, and various forensic analytical items for the world's greatest detective. And now we come to the cool shit, the cowl. The cowl's defenses include an electric shock system or stun gas to prevent anyone else than Batman to remove the cowl. It also contains a hyper-advanced imaging system similar to a Predator's biomask. The lenses can change vision modes like infrared vision, night vision, sonar sensor, but the coolest one goes to the detective mode introduced in the Arkhamverse. The detective mode is an infographic display mode with a direct link to the bat computer feeding Batman all the information about his targets through live feed. That information includes an almost complete anatomical cross-sectional scan of the target, giving Batman his hers heart rate, emotional state, etc etc. There is an eavesdropping device in the cult's right ear, which enables Batman to listen in on conversations from a distance. The left ear contains the antenna for the internal comm system. The cowl is also lined with lead on top of the graphite to prevent any x-ray scans that might reveal his identity, metahuman or otherwise. The cowl also features a gas filter in the nose section to prevent Batman's own gas-oriented gadgets as well as hostile ones from harming him. That is pretty much it on the Batsuit. So if you guys enjoyed this video and want me to make a similar type of video again, please put that in the comments, I really appreciate it and have a nice day.